Airsault is the use of helicopters, so multi-service helicopters using to assault enemy forces or move supplies over the battlefield, in place firepower, clear obstacles, anything like that. It's an all-encompassing course and all-encompassing towards the use of helicopters within the United States Army in combat operations. The air assault course covers three phases. All right? You have the first phase, which is your basic introduction to helicopters. So you are introduced to the Army's main rotary wing aircraft frames, as well as some of our sister services. So you cover Navy helicopters as well as Marine helicopters. And then you have phase two, which is sling load operations. So it's the external movement of cargo via rotary wing aircraft utilizing three different types of helicopters. Um, so here at our salt school, we cover the AT2 cargo bag, 5K cargo net, Humvees, and trailers via sling load operations. And you have phase three, which is repelling phase of air salt school. Uh, this goes back to air salt's roots in repelling into the jungles of Vietnam when air salt was first incepted. As we've moved further into the combat operations we've seen in Afghanistan and Iraq, as well as going into the potential of peer-near-peer -peer wars, resupply via air assault and insertion via air assault is going to be our bread and butter. Uh, it is a skill that needs to not be lost because that ability to insert anywhere on the battlefield using helicopters or move pieces of equipment over any type of terrain to get to anywhere within the battle space via rotary wing helicopters is absolutely a skill that needs to continue on within the Army for us to be successful in our future engagements.